So one way you can get the web server to run code is what we call CGI scripts. They're quite common in the 90s, less so now, been replaced with things like PHP a lot of the time. CGI scripts are programs that are run by the web server. And the way the web server passes information from the web server to the program is through the environment. It sets environment variables with certain values. One of these, for example, would be the user agent of the web browser that was communicating with the server. Because no two browsers seem capable of displaying HTML in the same way, it's useful for programs that generate HTML to know what browser they are dealing with, and so they can then customize their output to that browser. They do this by passing what's called a user agent string to the web server, and then that gets passed into the script that is executed. It would be very easy for us to put in a malicious user agent and call access a web server with a CGI script. And if we were to do that, that web server, if it was using bash for the, shell, for the CGI script, which a lot of them are, would execute our code. If you look at the, the logs for a web server I run, we've got here a standard user agent for Chrome running on Windows. Of course, that gets passed into an environment variable, and if we are feeling malicious, we can construct a web request that doesn't use a standard user agent. So in this example, someone's constructed a, a malicious user agent which contains the shellshock exploit. So as far as the web server is concerned, this is just a standard web request. The user agent is different from perhaps the normal ones it get, but the web servers don't worry about that. They just pass that on to the CGI scripts and allow them to generate the web page that they want to serve to the user. The problem here is though is that that will get passed into the environment and if that CGI script is written in bash or somehow cause something that processes it with bash, then bash, because it's exploitable, will execute that code and we've managed to get the remote machine to do what we wanted it to. Now a shell script is just a series of commands that are placed into a text file that you can then execute to do useful things. So this is a script I wrote to check my mail every time I logged in. All it is is a series of standard Unix commands that are executed in order. 